WWF Saturday Night's Main Event, October 14th, 1989, four days after my 14th birthday, in fact. Oh, the good old days. No, there was no, no. <laughs> Those were the bad old days, man. Wow. That's the first time I've noticed how plain your background is, Vinny. Do I need true. to get you a green screen or something. I realize a man once threatened me and Dave Meltzer. Right. So maybe you could say that Without, I... Wh- I hold a grudge. This guy was an overrated promo. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Wow, hot I have, take. I have no idea what he's talking about ever. Like, he's got good delivery. Sure. And he's a, he's always sweating. He did not talk me into the building. Okay. He talked me out yeah. of the building, personally, once. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I remember. I carried that refried bean brain. Refried bean is not a single bean. Sure. It is a collection of a mass of beans. Fair. Would you have preferred refried beans brain? But why is that bad? The mass of the beans is not my concern. Bro, it's I've the never fact goddamn beans. I've never given beans an IQ test. If I did, that would be a problem on my end. It yes. Was. So he's out there doing everything that someone who doesn't watch a ton of wrestling thinks a wrestler does. He goes, ah! Didn't even like Hulk Hogan's small packaging, that bloke. Small pack. Hulk Hogan did a nice small package. Fuck. Do you say bloke? He, he always me. does. Yeah. Now that it annoys people, it's become like something yes. I can't stop doing. I've moved from bro to bloke. Maybe I can combine them into broke. I think it's pretty evident that I'm terrible at this job. No, you used to be really terrible at this job. Now you actually do a good job. Really? We never hear any complaints about you. You complain about me every week. All you guys are a little crazy in one way or another. Okay, but the key, Granny, is one word. Oh, one word. Okay, I'll just have to say... Crazy. Yeah. So, wh- which one of us is crazy? All of you. <laughs> All three of you. All right. Getting crazier by the word. I'm going to get you for this, Fowler. I want everybody to get their crap together. <laughs> <laughs> What's your New Year's resolution, Vinny? Get through the year without going on a uh, murder spree. Wow. Mm. Yeah. And I will not shave until I have been vaccinated. <laughs> Beard's looking all right. I do say so myself. Look at that. I don't even know how to trim it. You buy a beard trimmer. Right. It's by Wall. Have you heard of him? I actually have a beard trimmer, but like they got all these different settings. I don't know. Oh, no. If I swear I put money in it, and at the end of the day, I get to buy something with that money? Actually, yes. This thing's fucking great. You got shadows under your eyes. Yeah, I'm 45. And you look tired. I am fucking tired. I haven't slept in weeks. Before (laughs) quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you better watch out for that Dr. Luther. Mm-hmm. He's going to find himself in his underpants. You want to get the background of that story, Brian, before you just accuse I guess that probably of, uh, came pedophilia. off pretty poorly, huh? Brian versus the Beach Bums. Uh, two guys against Brian. Didn't right. know their names. One tall, skinny guy. One short, chubby one. <laughs> the crowd was for Brian. Is that our show? Uh oh. What's happening? Is, there a is that your my, computer? No, it's, it's the toaster oven. Com, no, it's the computer starting to hum. So that sounds I like gotta, a tractor beam. I was going to say, like, are you being sucked towards it? Yeah, so I have to get out of here, I guess, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so, Granny. You better get out of here. Yes. You will not bring that mop to ringside and make a mockery of this great sport. Ask him about this on Friday. Yes, the story There's is that he had to reshoot this like 50 times because yes. he was not robotic enough. Yes. Do it again. Be more monotone. More monotone. I have a... I don't know what I even have here. I guess it's a... I don't know what it is. It's a It's a, It's a. a mystery. It is really a mystery. So I'm trying to figure out this mystery here. So next time it happens, I can try to give people an explanation for this. You believe there is a solution and you just have to find it. I know there uh, is a solution and I don't care. I got a suggestion for Paul, Triple H... Which I'm sure will go unheeded. Have we not learned that the heel that doesn't sell is just shit? Yeah. Breaking news we learned of earlier today. Then it's not breaking. It's not a character. I can't tell if it is or not. I've never met the guy. I, I haven't either, obviously. But as an awkward man myself. Well, he could just be very good at being Vinny. Awkward knows awkward. Hmm. Game recognized game. I think you're just a loud person in general. It's part of your awkwardness. <laughs> They've screwed her up in NXT since WrestleMania. 
So you may as well send her up to the main roster because if they screw up there, it's a lateral move with more yeah. money made. Yeah. Hey, it appears the video is frozen. Well, fix yeah. it, bro. I need to log out and log back in. Well, I don't know how you do it. Here we go. I'm clicking this red button here. Yeah, do it live. I got enter password or I click the link again. Right, here we don't go. tell everybody how we do this. At this point, Shotzi interrupts. Shotzi Blacker and her tank. Oh, I can hear myself. That sounded bad. That was a bad one, dude. That this is going to be like his gimmick. He keeps getting hit in the cock. All right? Say, I mean... That's fine and all. That's funny. But you know what? It's wrestling, and you're going to get potatoed. God, what am I going to do? And as I'm thinking this, Wade Barrett says, I already have plans. <laughs> Wade, as always, the voice of reason, yes. points out, everyone's already got plans. Excellent. Great storytelling. Callbacks. You had Wade Barrett explaining to fans what a receipt meant in this business mm. as they were talking about the jaw. It is very, very good. So I love the main event. The whole time, Snoop's just standing there because <laughs> they had the idea because Private Party's finisher is the gin and juice. We'll do a gin and, gin, gin and juice joke with Snoop and then have Matt Hardy come in and continue the storyline. And Snoop's just there. He doesn't go to dinner with him. He's just standing there. You and I had a weigh in. That's true. For a match with no weight limits. We did. Where I cut ago. weight and then got on the scale with a wrench in my trousers. <laughs> no That's sense. the fucking dumbest thing ever in the history of wrestling. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. And I didn't at even all. think about it till later. Like the best thing about this TNT title is when Cody had it and was having great matches every week against new faces and just fun, fresh matchups. Darby won it, took it to the rafters, and hid. What a waste of the TNT title this has been. And I feel like I have seen this exact same segment 16 times now. Some guys are going to fight, Sting comes out, nobody fights, nothing happens, rinse, wash, repeat, we'll do it all again next week. We need this to move on. I think it's going to come out that Sting is his father. Join me, Darby. I am your father. There's like, his song starts, and then you turn the channel on the radio, and Snoop's song starts, and then when he's done, you turn it back, and Cody's theme goes again. It's pretty ghetto. Apparently, there were people very, very upset and they were mad at Serpentico, and I can't believe you took that new move. I'm like, fuck, dude. Get a life, you geeks. Who gives a fuck? High, like, I hate Bray Wyatt, but I'd rather watch Bray Wyatt than a bad knockoff of Bray Wyatt. Actually, and that's Bray, what Abaddon is at this point. Bray does a significantly better bridge than Abaddon. Well, probably. Retired this spot. This match fucking ruled. <laughs> This was so good. The two best matches I've ever seen on AEW television. The common denominator is Phoenix. All posed together. But the Bucks are conflicted because these guys are their friends, but they're also being kind of dicks. And these guys don't work there. And they're EVPs. They got to watch out for their own show. A lot going on. A lot going on in this angle. A lot of places they can go with it. It's a very, very interesting storyline. And it's a thousand times better than anything we're watching in the WWF Invasion. It's amazing oh, that God. we're watching oh, my God. <laughs> both of these invasions at the same time. I'm just going to say, you know, the the it, it, it's, been, it's been a week. It has been a week. Both these guy, companies went out and gave me a chance to just mindlessly watch some wrestling for a while, and I appreciate that. And so with that in mind, I'm just going to vote for a tie. But, man, there was a lot of very, very good wrestling. I, as well, Vinny, am voting for a tie. Okay, there we go. 2021, the Wednesday Night War is off to a hot start.